Hi everybody, this is Crossroad Vanguards. I'm the captain here. I got them, sir. Hi! Now I got Joe on the side. Hello! And today we have the new Royal Paladin Trial Deck. I don't know how many Royal Paladin Trial Decks there are out there, but this is the new one. This is 777. Seven, seven. <laughs> really, you counted up? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this is the new Royal Paladin Trial Deck that's just released here uh, yep. in, in Japanese. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is. Do you remember the name? Uh, in English, I'm not. Uh, English, I'm not too sure. I think English is a Divine Knight of Heavenly Decree. Uh, Alright, correct, correct. That, uh, the, the Japanese one is Tenme no Seikishi. Alright, yep. so uh, the release dates for this trial deck in Japanese is on the 9th of uh, December. For English, you can see on the screen right now if you have that information, so you'll be seeing it right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, mm -hmm. so then uh, let's just look at how nice this is. Now, this is again, we're usually going through the supply sets. The trial deck itself it looks a lot more different than this, but we go through the supply sets as we always do. Yep. So, on the front, on the on the top here, you see um, the new art of Blue Sky Knight Ultimal and Shion, what he looks like in the new art. <laughs> the new art. So, all right, and then on the side here, you can see in Japanese, this is um, Shion and uh, the name. Imasuba Asoberu Torai. Okay, this is uh, whatever. Like. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> there's nothing much. So, all right, so then this is the symbol that includes the product. This is the symbol that includes his royal pardon. Yeah. All right, so then to the side here, barcodes information, not really that much. And at the back here is the information that you can get from this supply set. Mm -hmm. So uh, for the trial deck itself, you only will get the trial deck plus the clan card. Uh, but for the supply set, which is only Japanese have, uh, they also give you the promos. The promos includes Laser Guard Dragon, the G-Guardian, Knight of Twin Sword, and Selim. Selim. I think it's like back. Counter Offensive Knight. Seven. No, no, no. Counter Offensive is Slamma. Oh, that's Slamma, yeah. Slamma. I think it's back win Knight. Selim. But anyways, uh, yeah. So then this one also will come with the... Um, the deck case, mm -hmm. sleeves, Shion sleeves, and uh, the clan counter and the storage box, which you see here right now. Yeah. And the deck list and all the other side. Mm. On the side here, uh, Mega G and all that. Other. Okay, we're back to the front. <laughs> all right. So we're just gonna open this up. Let's move this out to the side. Woo! You see Shion and Altamont's crotch here. You you really need to stop you that. You need to stop that. <laughs> all right. Fine. Easy, easy. All right. So inside, more filler. Which is pass yeah, pass it over. <laughs> okay. So uh, as usual, we'll go through um, the the extra features that they have here. Yep. So it opens to the side. Yeah. The one I was thinking top. <laughs> so um, oh, the basically they recycled the first guide from from the so, Shadow Party one. So, so now Salty Kazuma is your first guide. Yeah, yeah your, it's your first, first guide. guide. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. All right. Then this is the promo packs, which uh, I explained has <laughs> the the three promos for this one. Yeah. So it's all four prints of those cards. We'll explain so, it later on. We'll explain it later on. Yep. So just so make sure. We're pretty here, so we remember. Uh, yes. Us. Yes. All right. <laughs> and then the play mat. Yep. All right. The play mat. Now this is, has a nice sea blue, which is Dempster's favorite color. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, uh, it's a huge step up from the original um, Shion's trial deck uh, play mat as well, because yep. you see a lot more other effects. It's as well. the Yay. same information, the same upgraded information that we've seen in the the last yeah uh, trial trial deck, which was the Shadow Party one, right? Not just that. The Gear Chronicle one also. It's a huge step up. Yeah, it's a huge step up. Well. Mm. The back there you can see more information. Uh, about the the deck itself, and then you can also have like whatever boost that you can come up with the new uh, the character booster, the tri tree uh, next yep. box. So you can get most of these cards from that box to upgrade this deck, as you can see. Yes, right. So we we'll move this out of the way. Okay, and in addition to that, what else do we have? The sleeve. Yay! Sleeve again, same solid printing as always. Uh -huh. Yep. So it's just immaculate that they can actually maintain this quality of sleeve yep. printing, as it is. So and mm -hmm. then inside is Shion. And Auto Blue Sky Knight Ultima on blank and Safe Face, which is the strike that exists in this uh, trial. Safe Face, Safe Face, yeah. Safe Face, yeah. So. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Okay, and then um, not only that, yeah, before we go to the deck itself, and there's still more thing. Before it's nothing, there's the Bromite. Uh, there is the Bromite as well, so it's the same thing as well, but except the uh, bag is now yeah. Tri Tree yes. instead of. Oh. I think it was. The it was uh, Kazuma and uh, Kazuma, Kazuma and Chrono yeah. together, back to back, right? Correct. So one last thing I like to point out as well because I just saw this. Uh, if you, yeah, you can definitely see right now. This mm -hmm. is actually a blue Sil silhouette, silhouette of uh, the new Ultimal art, the yeah. blue sky Ultimal. Not uh, heavily and, decreed, on, the and on the side, you see Shion right there. So yeah. this is actually very very neat. So if you're a collector, this is this nice is, aesthetics. Yeah. And all that stuff. Alright, so we move the, the, the box out of the way and okay. we go straight to the deck. Alright. Alright, so yeah. no points. Okay. But then you can see all the stuff here. Now we're gonna do a cut right now. 
Alright, so this is the, the deck that's broken down right now. So um, we'll go through the numbers as we go into each and every card. But mm. as always, oh yeah, before we forget, because we're gonna be idiots one more time if you do it. So uh, I'll let them, uh, can, you, can you help me go through the, the, the triggers? Alright, okay. Uh, but before that, uh, while Cap is opening, you see, we are gonna be idiots yeah. again. Yep. That was very fast. Okay, we forgot that in this whole stack um, is including, uh, it's inclusive of the clan, the, the clan card with the new uh, Autobile art, mm -hmm. as well as the uh, the power counters. So it's a new it's a new addition, uh, uh, it's a new colour change, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's certainly well dis uh, better designed now. Uh, and at the back is the Royal Paladin, is of this colour now instead of the... What is the original one again? I think it's the white colour. White colour. Yeah, white colour. So now you have another variation, hooray. Yeah, okay, so now <laughs> we get yeah. to the deck itself. Yeah, so we'll yeah. start off with the triggers as we usual because they're very quick to get through. Okay. So we got four critical triggers and you... Can you tell me the name? Okay. Tsugeki no Kishi Gerugites. Yeah. Uh, Gerugites. Alright, so <laughs> apparently you can't translate. So I'm sorry. Not I'm able to translate, not can't translate. You, you can unable, unable to translate. Unable to translate yes. so. Okay. Alright, so we got four of those. Uh, then mm -hmm. we've got the draw uh, trigger. This is... Something magician or sorcerer or I kill like whatever. Adamant. Oh, Adamant. Um, Adamant, so. Yep. Okay. Adamant is the. Control. Whatever. Adamant, maybe? Because. Something like that, yes. Yeah, because there is control yeah. Mithril, so. Yep. Alright, so then we got the stand triggers. We got four of them. Stand triggers is Bakusai no Kishi, uh, Guru Daoksu. Um, explosive, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Explosive Knight will tell us also. Alright, and this one should be <coughs> easy for us. So, this is four yep. new triggers. This, this is, is. Knight of Pretty Sword. Yep. Knight of Pretty Sword. Pretty yeah. Sword. Yes. <laughs> okay. How pretty. How... Mm, okay. And then and... the last one. Okay. Um, this one is a skill. Its name is How. I mean, I mean, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is a gliding gliding eagle. Gliding eagle. Well, close so... enough. It's still a How. I mean. It's still. Yeah. <laughs> Why we say that is because the skill is as such. It's an X skill. Moving to the soul. Choose one unit plus three K. So oh. now not only does Royal Valley have Margal, it also has Gliding Eagle too. Alright, at least at least we're not seeing Magal over and over and over again. Uh, it's, it's, a it fresh, printed, so. yeah, it's a fresh, it's a fresh one, and also considering the fact that the thematically the the shell parties are getting owls and eagles are going to the royal party, so yeah. it's kind of the nice. Alright, so let's get straight into the main deck itself. So okay. we we'll start with the stripe. Okay. Um, then, alright. Um, do you know the English name for this? Um, not by heart. Okay. Then show no seiki shi selfes. Mm -hmm. So we just shorten it to self as it's easier for us. Yep. So his skill is, uh, when this unit attacks, you may pay the cost, which is so plus one. If you do, then choose as many cards from your hand, bind them face up, sorry, bind them face down, and then choose one real guard during that turn plus 5k. At the end of the battle, put all the bind cards back to your hand. Right. So it's a good kick, kick starter, so called, for Brave. Uh, it helps you achieve Brave status very easily. Yeah. It's like a uh, Knight of Power Chart, but with less, you know... Oh, as a strike, in yeah, the strike. Right. So the deck focuses more, with the, looking at the strike itself, the deck actually focuses more on the Brave mechanics right Slightly now, right? more. Yes. Slightly more than previously... Uh, previously, it's just calling great tools. Now they have Brave as its main mechanic. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. So, but contrary to, to that, right, they actually reprinted... Um, Automile. Automile. So this is Blue Sky Knight Automile. Mm -hmm. So his skill is the same as the one in the last uh, trial deck for Royal Pardon. Yeah. So uh, basically, his continuous first skill continuous GB two. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, during your turn, all your units in the front row plus five k. Yeah. All right. Then uh, his um, his second skill is that uh, during your turn, when your when your G unit strikes, you may pay the cost counter plus one. If you do, then choose two cards. Cho choose up to two cards in your hand. Call them to separate regard circles. Then you uh, not not no then. So choose two up to two units. Uh, and for the turn, those units plus five k. Yeah. All right. So, um, this is basically the same Ultima as the, the other one, so... Uh, you have anything to say, Joe? No. No? No comments about the new looking art or anything? Too bishy for you? Like from 4 packs become 6 packs or something? <laughs> I know it's rock hard for sure. <laughs> Let me translate on Chinese, not my vegetable. Alright, uh, okay, okay. okay, so uh, while Joe ponders over the thing, we'll move on. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, the support, one of the support great trees that come with the deck, so... I believe this is Knight of Rainbow, something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, Contia, Contian, Contians. Yeah, Contian. Contians is his name. Can so be. it's real guard, uh, Vanguard Real Guard skill, Brave, Counter Blast 1. When this unit attacks, you may pay the. When attacks the Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do it during the battle, this unit plus 5k. And it's activated on Brave as well, so it makes sense with the strike. So. Yeah. Certainly. <laughs> Certainly as such. Alright, so the last great tree that we have here mm -hmm. um, is uh, Dibalto. Hmm? Dibalto, Dibalto, Dibalto Fox, Fox, Fox Dragon. Fox. 
Debout. Oh, Debout Fox Dragon or something like that. Debout Fox Dragon. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. So his Vanguard Rearguard skill is a GB1 skill. When another of your Grade 2 or higher units appears on a Rearguard circle during that turn, this unit plus 3k. Uh, it's a bit similar to. What's his name again? The one in Shadow Paladin, man? I kind of forgot already. I think it's Wilma, I think. Oh, yeah, well, Wilma, Wilma. Yeah. Something like that. Some. Yeah, but it focuses more on what Wild Paladin plays, lah. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we move on to the great tools now. So mm -hmm. um, this is Ashgal. 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 Ash ah, yeah, Ashgal. Ash so it's a tanky vanilla. Mm -hmm. um, so actually, this is pretty nice. Actually, it's mm -hmm. pretty nice for. for mm -hmm. I think the only thing that that was nicer than this than Galadin. Ooh, shots fired. Okay. No. <laughs> Aichi will be so mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said the only thing nicer than this is Shadow. So he will be praising me. But anyways, uh, so we got three of these, yeah. two of these, uh, four of these, two of these. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we got three of these now. Originally, they only gave two corner spins, right? Two uh, spins spins sequence, yes. Yeah. So, but I guess they they are following through with the with the sharp one, sharp party one. So there's only three, I think. Uh, not really because close spin, close spin segment is important to us so that time this deck so perhaps it, so. it makes more sense if you give only two for that perhaps so oh. but I was referring to Shadow Party one so yeah, fine <laughs> okay. anyways moving on to the next one so alright this is um, Hien no Kishi Kuraos alright so nice. this is one of the cards that got the four treatment just like save face mm -hmm. and ultimate and all that so, yep. so basically his skill is GB1 so uh, when this unit appears in the regard circle, if you have an Ultima Vanguard, uh, choose another unit and for the turn this unit and that unit plus 2k. Yeah. Right. Then he has a second skill, Brave, uh, which is um, when this unit attacks the when it uses the attack hits the Vanguard uh, on Brave, then you can bounce this unit back into your hand. Yeah. Which is pretty interesting because you get to bounce the card back to your hand either for defenses or to reuse his ability use his first ability once more or at least to protect him in case your opponent didn't have that, that thing la. perhaps so I mean yes oh, wait, actually, no, it doesn't really protect it because it needs to hit so and yeah, then it's still mid guard so yep. um, next would be from so. the side really. yep. so, so the other great tool that we have here is um, hmm okay Shinchoku no Kishi Karao Shius Oh, okay, interesting oh. names. Mm -hmm. right. So his skill is a regard GB1 skill. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost which is counter blast 2. If you do, um, choose up to one grade 2 from your rear guard, uh, from your from your deck, call it the rearguard circles, shuffle your deck. Then if that card has a brave ability, during that turn that unit plus 3k. Counter plus two. Counter plus two. Yeah. Oh okay. It makes sense why? Because we will get to that card later on. So there's a reason why it's counter blast two and why it looks um very Expensive to pay mm. in terms of cost. Yep. But we get to that sooner and later. So yeah. All right. So then this is the generation interceptor. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What's the name, Dems? Uh, okay. Kendo no Kishi Barudos. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so then uh, basically, uh, when when I say it's a generation interceptor, basically it's a GB1 auto. Uh, when this unit intercepts for the battle, this unit plus 10k shield. So yep. this is a 15k interceptor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so right, so we move on to the great ones now. Yep. Alright, so um, yeah, I, I really need names to discuss, they're all not. Okay, sure. And I suck at reading Japanese. So. <laughs> <laughs> Keichu no Kishi, Diotius. Uh, Diotius, alright. Yep. So his skill is that um, Counter Blast 1, Auto, Counter Blast 1, um, and retire this, re retire this unit. Yep. Alright, so that's the cost. So uh, when you're. At the end, when this unit. During the battle that this unit boosted a unit with a Brave ability, and that attack hits the Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, um, search your deck for one unit with the Brave ability, call it the Rearguard Circle and shuffle your deck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, because now it is still the Royal Pardon Superior Calling, but now it focuses more on calling the units with the Brave ability, which is yeah. kind of... Um, Weird, I would say. It's like going back to Draw Nights all over again? In a way, but at least it has much more freedom in terms of the mm. units that you can call because now instead of previously what Ultima was was like you only call Great Tools. Yep. Now mm -hmm. it's focused more on calling units with the Brave ability. Mm -hmm. So which is kind of going back, coming full circle or going back to square one depending on how you see it. So, mm, yeah. in, in a way or another. So, mm -hmm. um, But I guess that's just how it is. So we move on to the next unit. Alright, mm -hmm. so I believe this is a Conjurer of... Uh, this is another Conjurer, so... Mm. Um, conjurer of Tamas Damascus. Damascus. Oh, that's an old metal. All right. Mm -hmm. So basically, uh, basically, this is the unit I've been talking about based on the Counter Blast Two unit, the Great Two. So basically, her skill is on Brave. Uh, retire this unit. So at the end of your turn, 
Uh, you may pay the cost, retire this unit. If you do, draw one, counter charge two. Wow. Wow. Yes, so they gave you a very strong counter charger on Brave. It, it is on Brave though. Mm -hmm. But they do give you a very strong counter charger to recover back some of the counter blasts that you'll be using for the deck. Yep. Yeah, so this immediately this unit's uh, cost will become free at the end of the turn. And you can use it for other stuff like like Ultima or when you strike or any of the other things as well. Mm -hmm. so, right, so the next one that we have here. Um, this is Knight of... Knight of Tomahawk. Tomahawk. Ooh. Tomahawk. <laughs> is it a death blow? I don't know. Uh, Alright, so uh, her skill is that um, Generation Break 1. So this unit appears in Rhaegar Circle. For the battle, this unit plus 2k. Mm -hmm. And and this is the, the nice part. Her second skill is a continuous skill from the deck. On Brave, this unit plus 1 grade. Mm. Yeah, so and you give it and they gave you four of these. So not only can you find it with brave ability, you can also find it naturally using using the older builds of Ultima where they search for great tools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that makes this quite interesting and definitely a worth buy for Royal Party for mm. existing Royal Party players if you haven't if you're not considering to buy this at all. So you definitely need this unit because this yep. product's the only place where you can get them. Alright, so the next one we have. Again, they give me us four perfect guards. So this is new to the, the next stage of yeah. Vanguard. <clears throat> Alright, so Wall this Gal. is a. Uh... Yeah, what? Wall Gal. Wall Gal. Wall Gal. Wall Gal. <laughs> Wall. Wow, okay. I know. Very creative. Alright, so this is your, your, your old star perfect guard. So, mm -hmm. old star perfect mm -hmm. guard means that when this unit appears in the Guardian Circle, you may pay the cost, which is discard one card. If you do, um, search your deck for. Uh, no, uh, choose, a, the, choose the unit that's being attacked, and for the battle, that unit cannot be hit. Mm -hmm. Right, so why I say all star is because the new style was that they call from the, the uh, from hand to guard, yep. you know, activate their, their guards. But now, well, we'll get to that when we get to that. So that will be in another video. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so then uh, the one that you have is the first Vanguard for this deck. Yep. Um, Renma no Kishi, uh, Arektos. Arektos. Okay. Yep. So his skill is uh, I, I will not go through the the four runner skills as I've been given already. Uh -huh. His real guard skill GB one. Uh, kind of blast one and move this unit into the soul. At at the at the start of each battle phase, you may pay the cost. If you do draw one, then during that turn, um, your <clears throat> your brave abilities can be activated as per normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then his other skill brave um, is an X skill. Rest this unit. Choose one of your units plus three k. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright, so basically that lets you activate any uh, all the brave abilities even though you have maximum if you have more than three cards. If you have more than three cards in your hand, uh, so yep. so it lifts the limit that Brave has, which is which does make sense uh, because you know Well, obvious reasons it's such a super <laughs> <one. laughs> I don't know what else I can go on with. So but anyways that is the trial deck that we that they have for you. So when you go out and buy your trial decks, this is the, the cards that you see. Mm -hmm. Now if you're like us and we and went out to buy the supply set, so you actually will get another three more cards that we have here. So I'll go through them one by one. Mm -hmm. So this is Holy Dragon, Laser Guard Dragon. <laughs> I, I memorized the names from there. So this is the G Guardian that comes with it. So uh, its skill is that when this unit appears in the Guardian Circle, uh, if you have it's auto skill by the way, so uh, if you have a, a great two um, rear guard for the battle, this unit plus 5k shield. So this unit in, is uh, is a 30k guard if as long as you have a great two over there. 20k, 20k. 20k guard, okay. Mm -hmm. 20k guard if you have a great two down there. So which is should be very easy for for any royal partner deck for that matter. Mm -hmm. All right. So then the, the 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 next one that we have here, this is um, Headwind Knight Salim, I believe. So uh, so it's uh, continuous. It has two continuous skill. The first one is a GB one on Brave. Uh, if you have an Ultima Vanguard, uh, this unit plus 3k. So this is a permanent 10k as long as you're on Brave. Its second ability is a, f a continuous skill from the deck. If you have an Ultima Vanguard, uh, this unit plus one green. So it matches up with um, this unit here, which is they're both considered great tools in the deck. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. And give or take which one you prefer, um, you can go from there. So yep. All right. So then the last one that we have, the uh, the last promo that we have here is Knight of Twin So, um, uh, so its skill is uh, Auto GB one. So when this unit uh, attacks the Vanguard, if this unit is boosted, it may pay the cost, counter blast 1. If you do, search a deck for a uh, great 2 unit other, uh, other than Knight of Twin Sword, and you can call it to a Rhaegar Circle, then shuffle your deck. So this is the old um, card combo that will go with um, you know, Ultima back in the day. So yeah. with the, the supply set, you actually get them um, back. Uh, you actually kind of get that, that sense back, you can just include this if you bought the supply set. Mm. Right, so that's the um, the deck that we have. That's the the Royal Paladin trial deck that we have. Do you guys any have any final thoughts about it? 
Well, I'm kind of excited to see how this will play in the fight. Yeah, so we definitely will see this in the fight. Do you know anything? I feel the threat of Brave right now. <laughs> the threat of Brave right now, so. Yes. Alright, so, uh, again, so, yeah, so if there's nothing else, uh, then um, you'll see this deck in uh, in a fight very, very soon, the Raw Trout deck itself. We've mm -hmm. got the Neo Nectar, uh, Neo Nectar uh, unboxing video. Uh, as well, which you guys can see right now. So, and at the same time, also you can see how this deck and the new nectar, the new trial deck, actually fit together in the trial deck fight. So, uh, we're gonna get to that. So, uh, do check out those videos; they're out right now. So, in the meantime, uh, if you like to see more shenanigans from us here at Cosmo Vanguards, you can subscribe to us here at Cosmo Vanguards. Follow us on all of our socials. We're on Facebook at Cosmo Vanguards. We're on Twitter at Cosmo BGS, and we also have a blog CosmoVanguards.wordpress.com. Uh, at the same time, also do uh, check out our Patreon as well. So, our Patreon uh, there we are trying to, to start up a Vanguard web series so if you would like to support that project that we are that we are highly enthusiastic about doing do consider supporting us over on Patreon so that we can um, deliver this uh, project faster to you guys because we really want to do it and we hope that you guys will support us in doing that mm -hmm. right so that's it thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye.